Good morning. Today we are starting with the joints. How many joints a bone can form? Number one is the first one is the atlas. Identify this bone. It's an atlas followed by an axis with the dents. We know this. The first joint formed by this bone actually is atlanto occipital joint, which is with the atlas and the occipital bone. Number two is the atlanto axial joint. What you are seeing right now getting formed. This is the atlanto axial joint. Okay, it comes both atlanto occipital and atlanto axial are the joints of the head and neck. Obviously, next we'll have the intervertebral joints. Thank God they are not named. These are all the intervertebral joints here. You can observe the uh, cervical vertebrae with the thoracic vertebrae beginning here so this is the intervertebral joint same thing we'll have this this is the my thoracic vertebrae this is my lumbar vertebrae so we have a joint like this which goes on to help you these are all very important joints of the vertebral column next we we'll go for our ma major bones here this is the upper limb bones this is my left uh, mm, that is my scapula so this will be the humerus. So what are the joints formed by this bone? If this question is asked for you, number one will be the glenohumeral joint, glenohumeral joint followed by the shoulder joint. Okay, only two joints can be formed by this. Be careful. If these two bones are given, only these two bones are given, upper part I'm talking, this can form shoulder joint as well as nothing but the same name, glenohumeral joint. Yes, if I have a clavicle here, if I have a clavicle here, I will go for formation of something called as the, uh, you know, acromoclavicular joint here, acromoclavicular joint. Then if I go towards my chest, which I'll show you, this will be sternoclavicular joint here. So this, if two, these two bones are given, two joints will be formed, sternoclavicular, acromoclavicular, if sternum is given with this. Then we go for this humerus. I'm keeping the humerus here only. I'm keeping the ulna as well as the radius, okay? So I'll now lock it here. I'll keep the radius, yeah, here. So this bone, this bone is going to form elbow joint, number one, number two, that is the humoro uh, ulnar joint, humoro radial joint, proximal, that is my proximal radio ulnar joint, as well as I mentioned you, elbow joint. If I go down towards here, I will have a very beautiful joint present here, that is the interosseous joint between my ulna and radius, interosseous ligament. This will be my wrist joint with the presence of distal ra radio ulna uh, joint. Then we have a joint between the carpals, which is called intercarpal joints. Then carpal metacarpal joints, intermetacarpal joints, metacarpal phalangeal joints, which will be nothing but the interphalangeal joints between my proximal, middle and the distal phalanx. So you need to say in the same order without leaving anything I hope you have understood just revise this if it's difficult for you okay to just do it let's go now for the pelvic bone as well as femur how I kept for you scapula and humerus if I, I give you these two bones it will form number one first of all this itself bone can form three joints that is between the ilium and the ischium ischium and the pubis sorry ilium ischium ischium and the pubis three joints in this Okay, this individual bone can form three joints as well as if I have my sacrum here, if I have a sacrum here, if I bring the sacrum in this side, okay, the posterior aspect of this region, obviously it's not belonging to, so the, the, there will be, one second, yeah, now I'll just show you, now this will be a much better look, you can see the pelvic gutter here, you can see the Sac that is iliosacral joint what I'm showing you this what two things are shaking here then if I bring my lumbar vertebrae here it will be a very easy lumbosacral joint plus 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 coccyx is missing obviously this sacrum itself is a fusion of bones so this is the intersacral joint sacrococcyxial joint intercoccyxial joint Please remember, individual bone can have many, many joints, many, many joints. Please be careful about that. Next, we have, as I mentioned, I will stop the class here. This is this, this my hip joint, okay? That is the acetabulum of the enormiate bone. Remember, acetabulum of the enormiate bone, the acetabulum means vinegar cup. And here we have the head of the femur forming the most beautiful joint, that is the hip joint. If I bring my femur down with the articulation of my tibia, here I will be having the femorotibial joint. If I keep the patella here, patella will be having the femoropatellar joint and then tibiopatellar joint, knee joint. This will be again, if I bring my fibula to the top now, if I bring my fibula to the top here, there will be a superior or that is the proximal tibiofibular joint distal tibiofibular joint, interosseous joint, okay? This is the thing. And if I bring my 
individual bones of this star cell network here. They will be obviously where my, it goes and articulates here. That will be my ankle joint right now, what I'm showing you. A joint between the talus and the calcaneus, subtalar joint, calcaneus as well as cuboid, okay? There will be a joint calcano-cuboid joint, cuboid to metatarsal joint. We have the talus to navi talonavicular joint, then the talus to the three cuneiform. This will be the medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform. Remember, very important this is, the cuboid and the lateral cuneiform have a joint. These cuneiforms have intercuneiform joint. Then we have a joint between this three cuneiform and the three uh, meta sorry the uh, metatarsals here. And then we have the joint between intertarsals and the joint. As I said about the hand, same thing: the phalanges and the interphalangeal joints. Everything for joints is very important. No forgetting any, anything. Okay. This is how in the skull bone we can go only for one joint, the temporomandibular joint. I hope you have understood all these things. This is very important. Every joint, keep the skeleton in your hand and learn anatomy can be studied only by holding the bones in your hand. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.